Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4 with me, X Uh Last time on Let's Play SimCity 4 with me, <laughs> we uh, broke ground on Dartmouth and uh, developed Dartmouth up, f Dartmouth from the ground up to a uh, thriving something. Uh, we got a whole bunch of people, some jarbs. And uh, we worked on the dope trailer a little bit, but for the most part, we constructed Dartmouth. So I did a little tiny bit of playing off camera. Mainly, all I did is let Dartmouth run, um, so that we would have uh, enough capital to work on the city. And uh, so, basically, nothing much happened with that. Um, so a I got a couple of things to talk about before we sort of. Uh, jump into things. Um, one thing that I just found out, I, I just went looking for it because I was uh, I was getting a little little peeved, a little little annoyed, was that I found out the key binding, the keyboard keyboard shortcut for um, how to pause the game. And one of the great things you can do is you can hit the pause shortcut and enable the game back to cheetah speed. So the shortcut is Control. You hold Control and you press tilde. And that'll pause the game, and then like control one, two, and three will vary the speed, uh, depending on how you want to go. So if you want to unpause the game, you can actually hit control tilde to go to cheetah. It'll it'll unpausing the game will take you to your last known speed. And if you hit control tilde or tilde, I guess I, I don't know exactly the the name. Um, it'll do that for you. That may seem like kind of trivial to me. That's important. Um, so. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that stuff looks a little bit more developed, and that just sort of happens over time. Um, I, I went around and I deleted any buildings that were um, that were ghosted out, because um, sometimes buildings become abandoned. And uh, some of the commercial, I filled in this little area. We still have one building that hasn't developed there, but you know, um, fuck it. Sometimes your buildings will. Um, become abandoned based on a, like a loss of demand or you, you name it uh, those those things happen what are you gonna do um, y if you delete them there's there's a sufficient demand here to uh, fill them back up these are kind of like little annoying buildings right here but anyway so the control tilde thing is a huge tip for me I don't know if it's for you and um, I actually in the dope trailer up here. Um, I made a mistake in that I put some commercial or industrial down that I didn't water. I went back up and I fixed that, but it still didn't grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that off as like not my fuck up. That's the game's fuck up. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not um, it's not super important. So one of the things we have to do, which sucks, is we're gonna have to um, road around um, the power lines here. And it sucks. Um, I'm gonna sort of get into the meat and potatoes and just start working. Um, and hopefully, uh, that might be too close. Uh, hopefully, everybody will everybody will know what it is that Tapu is doing. I had a feeling that you, Blunk, were gonna be too close. Nope, not one way it works. Avenues. Anyway, uh, so we've I've got um I've got the first thirteen videos up on my YouTube channel now, and I'm getting some pretty. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how the the views, uh, how many views I'm getting from that so far. This is gonna create a nightmare, right here. Uh, and there's unfortunately nothing I can do about this. Um, or even nothing that I know how to do. I don't know if I can, like, maybe go like that. Because this is going to be our most highly trafficked area, and it's just going to be totally disastrous because of that. Uh, maybe we could go, like, out, you know, like that, and then make, like, a, a T with those avenues. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, this, this tower here has to be here for us to continue, um, continue buying power. 
So uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, that is just something we're gonna have to deal with. Um, so yeah, let's uh, keep on doing her. I'm gonna use the same basic format as I did last time in a donut. A donut. And connect us up. Uh, and one of the great parts about about what, what this is is I'm gonna do this first just because I'm going to forget. Um, is that I've actually misered out this little corner more than I have in the past. Um, this corner is kind of your a helicopter is really annoying. Um, this corner is kind of your interruption to your nice perfect square. Uh, zone map. So, same as last time. You go out five spaces and make yourself a, a circle. One, two, three, four, five, five. So, um, I'm super happy with how the Let's Play is going so far. Uh, I wish the, the, like, the growth was better. But, um, since we st started a new region, that that's going to be a little bit restricted, unfortunately. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to get as much feedback as I can. Because eventually I'm going to run out of ideas for SimCity and what to do. I have sort of um, a plan in my head of what the Let's Play is looking like. And so far I think I'm doing a good job. Multiple people have told me that even though they've never played SimCity before, they feel like after watching my video that they could sit down and play it. Um, and that's that's essentially what my goal is. Because I really like this game a lot. Um, and even if, if sort of one person watches the video and goes off and plays it because uh, of my videos, I would be really happy. One, two, three, four, five. So, so yeah, there's that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and I'm definitely going to do a modded playthrough. It's going to look very similar to this one. And I'm thinking way in advance. Yeah, this, I mean, we could go on, I could go on t until we fill up every square in this region if, if that's what was uh, desirable. It, I think it'll become boring because I'll be doing the same thing over and over and over, which is essentially this. Or essentially making um, neighborhoods that we've all seen before. And I'm going to connect that up. Um, I don't want there to be another intersection there. So maybe we'll go like that. Yeah, I think that's good. This um, circle actually worked out a little bit better. A little better job of centering it. Not perfect, but it's better. You don't have to strive for perfection. One, two, three, four. But it's pretty good. I don't know that um, I've ever perfectly centered anything on the map. And these guys were my traffic problem up here. I'm I'm just gonna do a little bit of like quick research. Traffic, traffic, traffic. And look for where my high traffic areas are. That area is crazy. So is this area, but somehow this area got worse. I'm not 100% sure how that happened. You, I know for sure, are going to go to there. I don't want an intersection there. Same thing with you. Yeah, and then same thing with you. Essentially what these will end up lo looking like. Um from a mechanical standpoint, I guess, is they'll be like cul-de-sacs. Uh, so it's these connections here that are turning out to be the traffic nightmares. Should I build those with one ways? So that you can only go out and you have to use the main avenue to come in. Um, hmm. I'm going to try that. That's an experiment. If this area ends up being like, if we look at the traffic and it ends up being like a cluster, clusterfuck, then um, 
Well, I'll probably forget, but we'll know what the problem was. This guy. Who's got two thumbs and knows what the problem is. We could be a dick and like zone that off as one way. <laughs> one way to nowhere. Uh, but that would only defeat ourselves. So, we're going to go ahead and zone... One way. One way. One way. That gives me like... Like to go to go to let tra to think of the way the traffic flows. If traffic flows outwards, I guess what I'll do is I'll create a one way that'll go like that, right? Maybe one intersection there. Oh, that won't even work there. So yeah, and I'll make an intersection that goes like yeah. I don't know if there's any way around that to be honest. And that'll that'll flow traffic outwards, and then the avenues will be sort of the way inwards. Yeah, I like that. So we're gonna go ahead, and we will not see very many gifts. Not gifts. I may have said gifts in <laughs> my other videos, cause I'm, cause I'm a bit of a silly. Which is sort of me pretending that I'm not fucking dumb. Um, and then medium density commercial. And I mean, like, you could, you could definitely vary it, and maybe, like, I should. Um, the reason that I build like this is pretty simple. I want to make sure every single one of these sims has access to the services that I'm going to put in here. Um, I mean, you could put, like, a commercial zone here, a commercial zone here, a residential zone there and and vary it. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that would be a better design. Um. So if I go, you know what? I, I'm just gonna say, like that. The to nuts with it. I, I'll just put two commercial zones there and uh, end zone here and here for residential like that. That way my um, my balance is kept pretty equal. And I want actually a few more zones of industrial. So, commercial, 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 commercial. And I think I'm going to go like with that for now. I think I'm going to put uh, industrial jobs down around this outside area like this and fill in these these areas here just like that uh, but for now zone those guys for heavy duty just to give myself a little sense of a balance some some pretty colors uh, so first thing we're gonna do is and here's the great thing about the way I did the pipes is I don't have to do any counting although I have to remember that I Mm, put that one up pretty good. So, city building comes down to some pretty straightforward things, um, which you'll probably notice they don't change very much. So, do we have power? There's no lights. Mm, yeah. Who do I want to put here? I want to put a commercial district there. I know I want to put commercial along the exit. I'm just trying to think. There's some really nice benefits to having a lot of high tech industry. Uh, one of those is, you know, what? I'm just going to put this here. Uh, that way we'll light up the whole neighborhood. Is shift F1? No. Oh, shit. What did I do? I change my cursor to something? Oh god. <laughs> Maybe not. God, I hope I didn't do anything. I was looking for key bindings. And it looks like I changed my cursor to a circle.